Yo, before we get into this week's video, I want to take the time to say thank you to everybody who's been following and supporting the channel so far. You know what I'm saying? When I dropped that first video and the views was kind of low, it was like, hey, this could be a little bit of a climb for your boy or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Consistent 100 view videos make you feel a little bit better. But we getting there, man. We getting there. And I'm enjoying bringing y'all this content. And even if y'all didn't enjoy it, I'm going to enjoy playing these video games either way. So... But I greatly, greatly appreciate all the support, man. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let's get into this video. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bundles. Coming back with another episode of Bundles, Blunts, and Achievements. And we're back to the Xbox 360 with today's game, Remember Me. Remember Me was published by... I was about to say EA. I'm high as fuck, bro. By Capcom. You know, the same motherfuckers that brung us Mega Man, Resident Evil, and a bunch of other shit that I used to like playing. They brung us this shit, too. And this is not your typical Capcom game, to say the least. This is some shit, like, completely out of motherfucking left field. And I kind of liked it. All right, so you play as this chick, and you're, like, in future Neo Paris, France, or whatever the fuck, right? And everybody has these things, like memory discs on the back of their heads where they share memories and exchange information and memories with each other. And they can delete memories, bad memories, and only keep the good. So basically, these motherfuckers walk around with clouds on the back of their head, basically. And that's like the whole future. And you have like corporations trying to like capitalize on niggas' memories and shit. So I don't know. It was kind of a weird story, but the story ain't the thing here, bro. If you played this game, you know, like, the whole thing was the whole fucking combat system. And this bitch was wild. So this game has a combat system called the Combo Lab Presence System, where you create your own combos. And each, like, button that corresponds to each button in the combo, it has certain effects. You either have more powerful moves, you get more time on your cool, or less time on your cool down, you can chain two combos you already have created together, or you get energy back. Those are the four, like, I guess, types of moves that are in the game that you can add to the combo. But here's the thing. The timing, in order for your combos to chain, you can't just button press the shit. The timing has to be extremely precise. And as you're going about the can as you're going about your combo, the camera changes. Or there are enemies behind you that the camera doesn't pick up and knocks you out of your combo. So you know, fights with multiple enemies on the screen become a fucking hassle. Fucking hassle. But it's still a fun game. Like, outside of that, I genuinely kind of enjoyed it. But at times, this shit was extremely frustrating. Not, like, frustrating because it's difficult, but frustrating because not only I have a very slow combo system fighting a shitload of enemies, but I'm fighting against the fucking camera as well. Outside of that, this game was actually kind of fucking fun. I mean, you get to fight crackheads with disc players on the back of their head. You do a little platforming. You get to find your mom and shit. Oh, and there's also this one thing in this game, too, where there are certain cutscenes cut that you can actually play with the whole memory altering tactic and shit. It's kind of really dope, bro. It's really hard to explain it. You'll probably see it a little bit of it in the video. Like, you'll probably see the boss fights, too. The boss fights are dope as fuck. Because, although they do have a shitload of enemies on the screen at a time, the camera is fixed to a way that they can't get behind you. So, the boss fights are super fucking dope in this game. Shout out to the boss fight. Shout out to Capcom for this shit. But, uh, yeah, bro. If you've never played this game, this shit is for sure a fucking experience. You'll probably break a controller or two. I didn't. Thankfully, this time I did not, but I really fucked with the game, bro. And uh, shout out to my man over on Reddit when I was asking about this shit. These same niggas made that uh, that Life is Strange game. They didn't make another one of these, but they made Life is Strange. So they, they were on the big things, bro. Shout out to them boys. But either way, man, here are my achievements. All right, so boom, after one complete playthrough of Capcom's Remember Me, I unlocked 24 out of 50 achievements for a grand total of 380 points out of 1,000. 
It's not a whole lot. And I damn sure not about to go through and play this game again. Regardless of how much of a glowing review I gave it, I did state that this shit is still frustrating. So it's not even worth the time. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this shit, man. And again, I appreciate all the support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all enjoy your day, man. For real. Oh, also, the next episode is probably going to be another Xbox One game. Uh, it's a fighting game. Hopefully y'all fucks with it. But anyway, stay tuned. Love you guys. Bye.